going to bed at a decent time. During lockdown, I was going to bed late, getting up early, um, at home all day, vaping all day. I drink nicotine um, liquid, and it started to become. I, I, it wasn't just to relax me. I, I needed the vape. I didn't vape. I was, every morning I would wake up. I would wake up in a, in a terrible mood. If I went to bed early, sometimes I would wake up in the middle of the night because I needed because I needed the nicotine because my body wasn't getting it. So I, thought, I, I tried quit uh, recently because I was. I had a really low powered device, a really high powered liquid, so you don't get a lot of smoke out, but that's the secret of it, you know, I'm you doing it. Many stores and I can sell it. Um, I tried to quit, and uh, yeah, you know, it's a bit stress, anxiety, uh, chest palpitations. So then I had to, I had to go back to vaping, and I, I'm now I'm gradually stepping down from the sort of high strength liquid. Um, and I'm, I'm down to like 3 milligrams now instead of the 12. But during lockdown, yeah, it, 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 it took a hold, yeah, and I, it was something I, I actually needed. It's so yeah, that's, that, that's always got to be in the back of people's mind. Although the vaping gets you off the smoking, vaping, it's, it's far cheaper, far easier. You, you, your nicotine levels go go up, and then you've got, to, you've got to break that cycle somehow. When did you last vape? Um, um, oh, about, about five minutes ago. When will your next one okay. be? as soon as you hang up. <laughs> Will it really? But it's, but, but it's, the, it's the lowest strength liquid now. But that's the thing, you can just do it, if you're driving, you can just constantly do it. It would be like, it would be like smoking, you know, a, a drive to work, it would be like smoking 15 cigarettes. You can just puff, 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 puff. Doesn't stink your car out. It, 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 you don't feel the, the physical harm of it. But your nicotine, you, you're, you're, becoming, you're becoming physically dependent on it. Do you have your device there? Yeah. Do, do, no, so you're going to do it as soon as we're off the phone? Yeah. All right. I'll tell okay, no, I won't tell anyone. So, and, and no one's listening, so you're all right. Lenny, thank you for sharing that. That's exactly uh, the, the sort of uh, personal experience I wanted to hear, because everyone's uh, use of cigarettes and uh, e-cigarettes is different. Everyone's got a, a, a different reason, reason for trying and a different response to it. Uh, Charlotte's next in Worthing. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Eddie. How are you getting on? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. I wanted to call in because there's quite a lot of what almost feels like glorifying uh, vaping. Mm. And I just want to tell you my experience. I actually am a smoker myself and have tried vaping um, on and off to try and kick the habit. But more, well, more importantly, my son is 14 years old and as kids are this this day and age, they have access to vaping. Um, they can order it online. It's not like a shop. You know, you can order from vape stores online. He's been able to get hold of these things. We've had to stop um, intercepting his parcels at home to make sure that he's not still having them. He was able to set up profiles and literally order, you know, vapes and e-juices and everything straight to the house. And I think the problem that I certainly have seen in trying to stop this with him is not just that there's obviously nicotine in there and the risk to teenagers and long-term effects can be things like mood disorders, they have impulse control issues, addiction. Uh, it also increases their chances of developing depression, anxiety, hyperactivity. Um, also, my job is I work as a practice manager for a counselling service in Arundel. Um, and the increase in children that we've seen come through the practice with issues in regards to depression, anxiety. These children at the moment don't have other options with trying to stress manage what they would have had pre-COVID. And I just feel that, I just think it's, yeah, I understand for anyone that's a smoker and is of legal age, I understand the, you know, that the, the can help someone, but I just think we're making this more and more accessible to our children, and that is such a concern for me. It's a good point, and I, I wonder if you want to share with me, you don't have to, it's very yeah. personal. Tell me about the conversations that you've had with your son about why, why he wants to do it and, and how it makes him feel. Yes, so he was dealing with stresses when it came to school, etc. Like lessons, obviously being in the global pandemic. Um, and he said that he was doing it for stress. Um, he said that, you know, an older kid at school, and, you know, we've all heard the story, you know, an older kid at school gave me this, or let me try this. And then I think where he became more stressed and having more anxiety around school and personal issues that he was going through, the right time by an older child and then you know i've got a child now that i 
some of the extraordinary flavors that these things come in yeah. and, and as we heard from matt apparently any flavor you can dream of you can get is is that something that's enticing younger people um i intercepted a text message that a other student at his school sent him saying i've got all the flavors today so it's not even it, it's a cool thing and i think you know we're all foolish if we think children will not try these things and i'm not someone that's saying you know oh my goodness my teenager has tried smoking it's the worst thing in the world i don't condone it and we're trying to get him off of the vape mm. um but it's almost a cool thing what they you know what use have you got today i've got this it's almost what, like what pokemon cards were you know but they're trading with things that have nicotine in and are addictive and can i ask about your own smoking yeah you certainly can i thought you would <laughs> well no again i don't want to pry but uh, when did you start and how tricky has it been just trying to stop um so i started when i was 16 um my parents were mortified by it i had a very good upbringing you know i went knew that it was wrong i mixed with an older crowd so at 16 i started hanging out with kids that were older than me and i'll be completely honest eddie and i believe that anyone that says otherwise probably lying to themselves smoke at least i'm not doing that oh i do of course i did yes of course i did <laughs> and you sent um, him to his room without dinner i hope <laughs> so all i said to him is it's simple i'm i'm an adult i legally can buy these cigarettes and i'm, I'm more than aware that this is wrong it's not good for my health and actually through smoking i know that the choice that you're now making son mm. is going to be an incorrect choice for your health for your development so actually in some ways yes of course i had it thrown in my face um, but on the flip side, do you want to be spending the sort of money I spend and have not as great health, um, you know, when you get to 32? I wish you luck with it, Charlotte. Thank you. Uh, not just your son, uh, but also your own smoking habit. 0345 973 Tell me about you. Here's Tim with more news. The head of Heathrow's warning bad organisation at the UK's border force could cause chaos at airports when foreign holidays resume. John Holland K says there have already been hours of long queues at terminals because of COVID checks. The government is trying to arrange cheaper COVID tests for people who want to go abroad when travel restrictions are lifted. Transport Secretary says he wants to see them brought down to around £45. Smokers who attend A&E for any reason are going to be offered free e-cigarettes to help them give up. The idea will be trial at five hospitals. The weather showers dying out inland tonight but continuing around coasts exposed to the northeasterly wind. Chilly with a rural frost in places below minus two. Nick Ferrari and breakfast. LBC. Vaccines Minister Nadim Zahawi. Isn't it time now to urgently review some of the restrictions that are still in place, not least those people who are gathering to say farewell to a loved one. So there's still a significant number of people for the virus to go after it. That's why we've got to be careful. Now the good news is we're not seeing any evidence that would lead us to believe that we can't deliver on the 17th of May the further reopening of the economy. Nick Ferrari at breakfast. Weekday mornings from 7. Listen live on Global Player. LBC. Betfair Casino launches brand new slot games every week.
and then I'll just go right, I'm done, and then I'll be fit and healthy again. And because you've done it before, you I suppose you have the confidence to know that that's quite likely to happen. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. I mean, I've, I've actually just moved to Paul, and um, I mean, moving's always stressful, isn't it? Uh -huh. So, you know, yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of just one of those things, really. Can, I, can you explain to non-smokers what the uh, craving, if that's the right word, is like? The, the desire to have a cigarette, but what does it feel like? How, how would you describe it? Right. So, there's a really good book by Alan Clark, mm. the easy way to give up smoking. Several and listeners I, have recommended it on text already, yes. Yeah, and, and I read that about 25 years ago, that actually helped me give up smoking, and it's a really good book because it, it kind of explains it all in very sort of simple terms, but it, it kind of almost turns the nicotine monster into, into a, 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 a thing that you can kind of defeat. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but you know, you're almost suffocating this monster of, of its sort of energy to control you, you know, and then you, you kind of get rid of that. And, you know, that, that really helped me. But essentially, you know, nicotine, I think, only stays, the addictive part of nicotine only stays in the body for three weeks. So, you know, past three weeks, it's, it's a psychological addiction, but the actual physical addiction is gone. And, and I think that's what most people struggle with, is the, the kind of psychological part of getting up. But they kind of feel like they're missing out on something, you know, they feel like there's something missing, you know. Um, so, I guess, yeah, in answer to your question, when you're trying to give up smoking, you feel like there's something missing. Why did you have to go, by the way?
for a mortgage appointment face to face, we're more than happy to come to you. Every week, our colleagues are doing over 3,000 mortgage appointments by phone and video call, so we can keep your moving plans moving along. Halifax, it's a people thing.